Welcome in Dubai, the first RC44 event in 2010. We are here in Dubai for the Al Maktoum RC44 Trophy. This is the first event of the year and we will have five other venues. We, we have nine boats here in Dubai and we have a strong uh, willing to increase the number of boats in the class and we will be able to give you some good news in, in Austria already and probably some other new entries in Copenhagen. So we expect to be 11 and 12 by the middle of the season. Russ was just busy uh, with the America's Cup so he asked us to fill in and uh, we jumped at the opportunity to come sail in this class and uh, to see what it's all about. We would love to come do the RC44 tour, just uh, need to get an owner and um, get a boat and do a lot of, a lot of training. <laughs> good position and then um, the wind uh, closed a lot the angle so uh, we couldn't reach the the buoy and uh, we had to we had to tack uh, really fast it was not uh, this room so we got penalized and uh, it was a pity you know because we were in a good position but uh, these things happen Just thinking, it's probably one of the one of the better days. Conditions are great, uh, sun, uh, decent breeze, a bit shifty, but uh, the boat was going great. Crew work was good, and we seemed to hit a groove fairly early on and stay in it. Uh, fourth race over early. We didn't think we could work our way to the front again, but we thought we could get back in the pack, one boat at a time. So uh, we managed to get back. More, more than we, more than even we expected, frankly. But there's two more days to go, and anything can happen. Well, today's the second day of the fleet racing, and we had a big day yesterday. We got four races in, and it's it's extremely exciting racing. And today's more of the same. We have uh, this offshore breeze blowing again, about 20 knots. A little bit dusty here in Dubai because the wind's blowing off the land but um, I'm sure it'll be another intense day of sailing. Pressed on board, and uh, we all we couldn't get to the mark with the spinnaker up, so we we went forward. We had the jib up, and then we went forward to get the spinnaker down, and just a combination of things, probably with a little puff, a little wave, and maybe Bob sailing a little hotter than he should have, and you know he lost control of the boat, and we broached. Luckily, Aqua was very quick to tack and get out of the way because we were completely out of control, and if the two boats had hit there, we might have sunk both boats. Just, uh, it's like NASCAR racing, it's just constant change. I haven't been in a class where there's this much change in a position.
great sailing. I mean, I can't say how much I enjoy sailing. And here, it's fantastic. I've never sailed here before, but it's really, really something special. Well, it's always nice to win. And I think we closed the gap to Aqua, who uh, obviously had a fantastic day yesterday, and uh, today they sailed well. Uh, I still think it's very open between many teams, not just the two top teams. Uh, it's one day to go, and uh, there's, uh, there can be many, many changes in the top. It's very close, or first four teams are very close on points because match rate and fleet rate are counting even. And if there is a tie, then the fleet race is, is uh, higher. Uh, we had a big storm over the night, so it's still blowing very hard and there's a lot of sand in the air. So the view is really bad. You can see maybe 300 meters, not more. And it's still a little bit too windy at the moment. The breeze should go down, but um, I don't know if it's, if it's decreasing enough that we are able to go racing. point spread at the beginning of the day between us and Artemis. We weren't uh, very comfortable with the wind angles and we thought the wind was going to clock again so we decided to put some height in the bag early. That's why we w went out with our jib and uh, the wind just didn't clock around as much as we thought it was going to be so we let a whole host of boats through on that. But with Artemis behind us we knew that the point spread was still good enough where it wasn't really an issue. No, I mean, it's been a great week. The sailing's been wonderful, the boat's going well, the team's working well together, so, you know, I'm very happy.